and I'm sitting a fraction to the inside on the circle to help him come round. My shoulders follow him round on the circle so that I'm as in balance with him as I possibly can be. And that way I can let go and he stays there and he starts to use himself and his own self-carriage and starts relying less and less on me for balance. So again, outside leg back, outside rein, steady and walk. Good boy. And I give as soon as I'm in walk because that encourages him to walk properly and let go. And then outside contact, a little bit of inside flexion. Outside leg says canter, inside rein gives. So my inside rein gives in the transition to give him room to canter on and to come up with his inside shoulder so that it's an expressive transition. If I hold on to the inside rein and pull his head round like this, you can see I'm actually blocking that shoulder. Good. Here again, don't rush this transition. Come, come, back to, come back to trot early enough so that you've got plenty of time to change position, to change flexion, and then uh, pop him into the new canter. Get a bit of extra impulsion again, set him up and develop it. Don't throw him into any extension, just develop it gently and maintain it until you are well, well before age. You don't have to go all the way to the point at this level of training. Again, he maintains a nice rhythm. That's what we want to see. <laughs> 